Hey guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to cover a very essential visual effect, the humble muzzle flash. If done right, a good muzzle flash effect can enhance almost anything, from the look and feel of your standard gunshots, a gun crazed maniac, your cameraman, camera loves you baby, hell, it can almost make your breakfast cereal taste better. Knowing how to create a convincing muzzle flash effect is an essential and very fun skill for any visual artist to have. Let's jump right in. For this effect we will composite several layers. First we will place the muzzle flash on top of our base footage. We then create a lighting layer and mask out all the areas in the image that will receive lighting from the flash. However, just placing the lighting layer over the footage looks kind of flat and unrealistic, so we're going to create a mat to make the lighting layer blend more naturally with the scene. Finally, and this is just for personal style, we can add some colorization to the footage. Now, let me show you how to do all of this in After Effects. As you can see, I already have a composition created and I've placed the base footage Tobias shoot in it. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to find the exact spot where the gun is being fired, which is yeah, probably about here where the slide is moving back. Next, I will take my muzzle flash element and place it on top of this layer and position it right in front of the gun. Now, I'm using stock footage from the Action Essentials pack, but you can find free stock footage online and I've included a few links in the description of this video. Once you've positioned the muzzle flash, just change the blend mode of the layer to screen. The other thing I'd also like to do, I usually like to add a little bit of a glow to the muzzle flash just to intensify it and blend it a bit better into the scene. For this, go to presets and effects and search for glow. Now, take the glow effect and drag it onto your muzzle flash layer. I usually like to increase the radius a little bit just to make it a little bit softer and not quite so artificial, but play around with the parameters and use whatever feels natural. Next, we're going to add the lighting layer. For this, select new and solid. Now, for the color of your solid, you usually want to pick something that is very similar to your muzzle flash. You can name your layer whatever you want, I'm going to call it gun lighting, and then click OK. You want to change the blend mode of your new layer to additive and lower the opacity to around 20. Next, you have to think about which parts of the scene would be lit up by an actual muzzle flash, and you will have to create masks to highlight all those areas. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm creating masks for both of the walls, my face, as well as the front of my hand that is facing the muzzle. Then I'm going to increase the feather amount and reduce the opacity of some of these masks just so that it's not quite as harsh and unnatural. The other thing I want to do is I want to use the subtractive masks for underneath my arm and my right shoulder because that area would not be in light if there was an actual muzzle flash in the scene. Now, this doesn't look too bad, however, I still find that the lighting kind of sits on top of the scene, especially on my face rather than in the scene. To remedy this, we're going to use a mat for the lighting layer. To do this, select the base footage layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate. Call this layer light mat and drag it to the top of the composition. Now, there are three things you need to do with your lighting mat. First, you need to desaturate it, which you can do with the hue saturation effect, simply by turning the master saturation down to zero. Next. Add the brightness and contrast effect to your mat. You can do this simply by double clicking on the effect in the effects and presets panel. Now, when adjusting the brightness and contrast, keep in mind that the brighter the image will be, the more light it will receive from our lighting layer. The last thing I like to do is just to add a fast blur to the mat, just to soften out the lighting effect a little bit. Usually a setting of around 10 or so is actually quite sufficient. Now that we've created the light map, the last thing we have to do is turn off its visibility. Then, go to the gun lighting layer and under track mat select luma mat. Selecting luma mat means that wherever our light mat layer is brighter, the gun lighting layer will be more visible. Wherever the light map is dark, our gun lighting layer will be less visible. If you have a look at the lighting effect, you can see that it is sitting a lot nicer in the scene rather than just being on top of it. The very last thing we have to do is animate the opacity of the lighting layer. I usually set the opacity to around 20 at the moment of the muzzle flash and within about 2 or 3 frames fade it down to 0. Now remember to set the frame just before the muzzle flash to 0 so that it jumps instantly from 0 to 20 and you get that nice flash effect. Render it out and your muzzle flash effect is complete. I hope 
today's tutorial has given you a few tips on how to enhance the look of your muzzle flash effects. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And in next week's video, I'm going to show you how to complete your gun effects by adding realistic looking bullet impacts. Until then, I will see you later.